welcome to part five of this series. I've got all the uh, silver cemented out of this solution now. We're gonna dip a piece of filter paper in here and check it with some stannous chloride. by that test we got zero precious metals in solution now all the silver's gone all the gold's gone all of the platinum metals are gone so now what I'm going to do is siphon this out into my waste bucket siphoning this waste solution off into my waste treatment bucket down here it's full of iron transfer the silver out of this big beaker into these other two smaller beakers for temporary storage. beakers of silver up out of the way now. Those concentrates on the uh, beaker back here that we've treated with hot dilute nitric acid. Get this down and uh, see what we got in there. I've got one of my specially prepared fitted filters here. Slip that down into this 12.5 centimeter Buckner funnel. And we're going to wet this thing. Get a seal on it. Now I'm going to go over and light off my uh, vacuum pump. Bottom of the beaker down there, you'll see a bunch of uh, silver left as solids in the bottom of this beaker. So I'm going to get as much of the uh, black powder out of there as I can. And then I'm going to Black powder is going to be uh, precious metals, possibly platinum group metals, or gold. I just want you to look in here, that's silver. That's the granules of silver I've got left in there. And I think the best thing to do here is to uh, dissolve the rest of that. So I'm going to add some distilled water to this beaker half a liter or so and now we're going to add some nitric acid to it we'll put in about 200 milliliters of uh, nitric acid here I'm going to set it back up on the uh, heat in the back there dissolve the rest of that silk solid 
buds still down here in the bottom of the beaker. What I'm going to do is I've got concentrated nitric acid here. And I'm going to reach in here and grab a few milliliters of pipe at, add it to our boiling liquid in this beaker. Here we go. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get everything to go into solution in this beaker. The solution has been on boiling now for a couple hours. I've been adding nitric acid to it. And uh, I think I've pretty much got most of the solids to go into solution here. Or most of the silver to go into solution. I got a little bit left down there in the bottom. What we're going to do now is let this cool off. And then we're going to pour it through this same filter and add it to this solution here. Our solution's cooled off a little bit now. What I'm going to do is take the... Uh, solution out of this flask and we're going to transfer it to a beaker here so I can make some room in the flask. I've got a four liter beaker here and we're going to put the uh, solution in here. the uh, solids out of here. Put our flask back in place. Funnel back on. Transfer the uh, solution out of here into this filter. do here is transfer the uh, black material out of our beaker into this filter here so we can collect the black material and recover the precious metals that it may contain I think we pretty much got all of the platinum group metals out of here that we want to get it's just going to be pieces of silver left in there. So what I may do with this uh, material left in this beaker is just uh, rinse it out real good. And then we'll run this back through the silver cell. This is just pieces of silver that didn't dissolve in the anode filter basket while the cell was operating. I think we're going to bring this nylon screen back into play here. And rinse particles of silver in our beaker free of the uh, black material that uh, is on there and I think we can uh, run this see that's not real hard crusted on those pieces of silver this will rinse it off real well and then we can put our uh, liquid down here and run it back to our filter our silver will be uh, we'll be able to run that back to the cell, no problem.
material is in the beaker. I didn't add it to the filter. It looks like it might be silver. I'll have to run some tests on that, see what that is. Back here, I've got our silver rinsed off. And I can just throw this back into the anode filter basket in the silver cell. Run it back through. But right now, what we're going to be concerned with is getting the platinum group metals out of this solution here with dimethyl gloxine. I'm going to rinse the uh, filter real well here to get all the silver out of that filter because what we'll do with this black material in the filter is dissolve it in aqua regia. If there's a bunch of silver in here, it'll react with the hydrochloric acid in the aqua regia warm silver chloride and cause problems for us. So we want to rinse all the silver as best we can out of this filter. This is the solids that I left in the beaker. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of hydrochloric or nitric acid on it here. See if we get a reaction. And it does look like we're getting a reaction there. That may be silver. So we'll let that react for a while and see what happens here. It's really finely divided silver in there. Got everything pulled through the funnel. What we're going to do is set this funnel aside. And we're going to add this solution up here to this beaker black material in here will be precious metals. I don't know what all's in there. I'm not going to worry about this right now. First thing I'm going to do here is try to precipitate out the palladium out of this solution with some DMG. I'm going to add this solution to the beaker. Okay, I'm going to add some distilled water to this 600 milliliter beaker here. I'm going to add about 300 milliliters to the beaker. I'm going to turn on some stirring now and put some heat to it. Now I'm going to dissolve a little bit of dimethylgloxine DMG this hot water and then we'll add it to the solution and precipitate out the palladium. Alright, I've got the dimethylgloxime in here. It does not dissolve very well in water. But I'm uh, going to try to uh, get enough of it to go into solution. And then we'll add it to our beaker here. Precipitate out the platinum group metals with it. Trying to smash up some of these big hunks. So we don't get big chunks of it floating around in our solution. Alright, here we go. We've got our silver, platinum group metals, and gold in this beaker. And what I'm going to do now is pour in some dimethylgloxine that I've had dissolving here in hot water. You see the platinum and palladium coming out of solution. As soon as the uh, DMG hits the solution, it turns yellow. That's the platinum group metals coming out of solution there. If you remember from our last experiment with this, after the uh, platinum group metals come out of solution with the DMG, if we let this set, then the gold will come out of solution also, contaminate our platinum group metals. So we'll want to get this off of here and get this filtered out of here pretty quickly after we get this done. 
so so that the gold doesn't begin to come out of solution and contaminate our palladium salt here. Of course, it takes overnight. It had to sit overnight for that to happen. So it's not all that urgent. back here in our uh, beaker is probably silver mixed in with a little bit of looks like still got some platinum metals in there that was nitrate that I just squirted it in with no reaction it's heated up it's hot I'm gonna hurry up and get the uh, precipitate out of that solution there so we don't start dropping gold change out the flasks solution which uh, we had some excess DMG in here with the silver and what that'll do as it sits overnight I should be able to come out tomorrow morning and find my gold precipitated out of this green solution that I'm pouring in this beaker right now just like we did the last batch and then we'll rinse this out real good to get all the silver out of there. Uh, solids that I have left in this uh, strainer here. So I'm just going to add them back here to this beaker and dissolve everything and resolve it that way. I think that's the best way to go here. I'm just going to add this right in to this hot dilute nitrate in here. Just flare it right up. the rest of the 
silver out of this uh, filter or strainer here to our solution. Let all that dissolve. Filter out those solids. That might be some platinum boot metal. So. Got a little bit of stuff in this other beaker here. What we're going to do is flush this out into this beaker as well. I think this is silver in here. Here's somebody gonna fuss me out for pouring this stuff towards me. I don't care, man. I gotta facilitate the camera here. If you wanna complain to me about the way I do stuff, that's just fine. I add acid to water, I pour caustic and corrosive solutions towards me. And I do all kind of dangerous things in here, but I do it for the benefit of the viewers of my videos. Solution up front here. This is our silver solution that probably has a little bit of gold dissolved in it. It's got some excess dimethyl bloxy. I just uh, precipitated out the uh, palladium with the DMG out of this solution. And I'm going to swap out the flasks here now. precipitate out here real good because we want to get all the silver out of here. this set and hopefully we'll come out and have some gold in the bottom of this beaker after it's set overnight and put this up and set it in the back of the fume and let it react got a pretty decent cake of palladium precipitate here I'm gonna rinse it off real good. Make sure we got all the silver off of there that we can. I've got this uh, precipitate now rinsed out real good. And what we'll do is I'm gonna send up here to Peter for a minute. Get it out of the way here. Then we're going to do a quick inventory of where we're at with everything here. Time to do a quick little review here. This is the palladium that I just precipitated out of the solution. Our solution that I precipitated it out of is sitting in the back back there here and what I'm thinking is we're going to have some gold that precipitates out of that in the morning. Set this up here out of the way. Now what we'll do is I'm going to add the solution is going to have a little bit of silver in it. So I'm going to pour it into this beaker that has 
has some copper in it. We'll cement this out. And then we can go and do all the dishes. Here's our two Just silver solutions. One of these already had some silver in it when we started, so it's not going to be a total yield from this uh, process here. There was some in there when we started. I'll set this off to the side now. This is our other beaker full of silver. Set this off to the side. Then we're going to look and see what we got here going. This is a little bit of uh, the silver that was left over out of the strainer basket. We're going to dissolve that, dilute nitric, and then filter out the solids and save those. Here's our funnel with a filter in it with our black solids that we have. And what I'll do is I'll dissolve this in aqua regia and then we'll uh, get the metals out of here. In the back, back here, I've got the uh, solution that we just precipitated this uh, palladium salt out with DMG. And then last but not least, we've got our two uh, beakers that has our palladium precipitate in them. And uh, in the next videos, what we'll do is we'll combine these, dissolve these in aqua regia, and then uh, get some pure metal out of these. We're making some great progress towards getting all those values concentrated together so we can do a recovery. And I've got the palladium precipitated out. I've got the silver coming out of solution on copper. I've got that black material in the filter paper we're going to have to process that and then i've got the remnants of the silver pieces dissolving in hot dilute nitric acid so we're getting closer to the end of this thing so we can uh, produce some metal for our efforts and uh, that'll do it for part five thanks for watching